Okay, guys, so thank you so much for coming back. So, what I wanted to talk about, and I've been wanting to talk about this for some time, is that some of the, something that I've noticed about myself since losing weight. I have noticed that I don't need some of the things that I felt I needed before weight loss surgery. Um, I guess, you know, I've always been kind of known in my circle as a little bit of a diva or sort of high maintenance because I always carried myself in a certain way. Um, it had a lot to do with my upbringing. My mom brought me up in such a way that, you know, she felt it was very important. She felt looks were very important. And how you carried yourself and how you kept yourself was even more important. And she felt that, she instilled in me that, you know, even if you don't have two nickels to rub together, no one has to know it. You should always look your best. And I always feel my best when I look good. But I think over the years, I kind of took that to a whole other level because I kind of felt that because I was a large woman that I had to kind of go above and beyond. And to some degree you do. You can't, there are certain things that you can't do as a large woman that you might be able to get away with as a slim woman. Like I would love to in the summer just be able to put on a little slip dress and a pair of thongs and go on about my business. But you know, as a big girl, you got to have that proper fitting bra to wear with that little dress. And you got to have on them two girdles to hold in the stomach. <laughs> and you, you know, you have to just do a little extra because you know what? We require extra. We are, you know, we are full of women and we require a little more. And I kind of took that to a whole other level. And I realize now that since I've begun to lose weight, I don't need as much makeup as I felt I needed. I don't need all the bells and whistles, so to speak, the baubles, the hair, the the jewelry. I used to wear like rings on every finger and all this crazy shit. And I just find that I don't, I less to me is more. You know, less is more for me. And I just wanted to, you know, kind of get your feedback, guys, on, and maybe you could do a video response or maybe you could put the comments down below. But do you feel that now that you're losing weight and you're on a different path that the things that you held on to that you felt you needed to get by as a plus size woman, do you think you still need those things? You know, um, I, I, my, my needs have changed as a plus size woman. I'm way more simple. Um, and today I'm kind of looking a little glammed out because it's the holidays, y'all. And I just feel pretty. <laughs> I feel good. I'm happy because of the holidays and I've, you know, and I stepped out today so I wanted to look my best. But I don't need all the things that I felt that I needed before. And so I just wanted to kind of, you know, see what you guys felt about that. How do you guys, how are you guys dealing with or what are some of the things that you realized that you, you that was your crutch? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. We all have crutches and for me as a plus size woman, looks was a crutch to me. Looks should not have been a crush. It should have just been an addition to who I am because my personality, my, my spirit, which always comes out, I just have that way about me, that should have carried me. But I felt, you know, I had this erroneous belief that I needed more to carry me. I needed bigger hair, more makeup. And I went to a wedding last month, and I have a picture of me at that wedding. Thank you, dear. Give that to your dad, because I do not eat Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Wow, well, this is for me. Oh, that's for you? Oh, okay, good. Because I'm like, you know, damn well, like, dad is over. Okay, all right. You, Yeah, you go eat that. Go, go, go. I'm doing something. Go to the country club or Paris. Close the door. Or Paris. Close the door. Close the door. Thank you. Close the damn door. I'm sorry. Y'all had to see me cut up. Why? Because I'm, I'm not doing this over. I'm going to let this go. Y'all, this is, this is the stuff I have to deal with. My husband is here for the holidays. So, um, we don't like each other that much. But Anywho. So, um, 
I just find that I don't need the stuff that I felt that I needed. And I'm, you know, I'm coming clean that I actually used looks and I used things as a crutch to make me feel better about myself as a plus size woman. And, you know, I now understand and realize what I was doing and that I don't need that. Um, I'm very happy on a daily basis with as minimal as minimal as possible. And what I was going to say before I was terribly interrupted is that I went to a wedding last month. And I went to Ashley's store and I got this really nice pink dress. You can see the dress on my Facebook page. If you're, if you, and my link to my Facebook page is on my homepage of YouTube. So you can go in and friend request me. And I don't deny anybody. Um, you can see the pictures that I took. In that dress and I love the dress and normally I would do so much I would have on the dress and I have on you know all this other stuff but I kept it so simple I actually wore my hair like this and I had on these earrings and I had on a ring on my hand and I didn't wear a necklace I just wore the dress and I wore some neutral shoes I didn't even wear anything like you know six inch and all this rhinestones oh you know the crazy stuff that we feel we need and I was looking at some pictures and I looked great, but I noticed that I had a little bit more makeup on than I should. And, I'm, and I was looking at some of the pictures and I'm like, God, I have on so much makeup. But that was what I was used to. That's, I felt like I, you know, this was what I had going for me and that I had to work it to the best of my ability. And you know, there's nothing wrong with recognizing your beauty and enhancing your beauty, but it does become an issue when you feel that this is your identity, when you just identify yourself as this, and that's what I did, and I'm coming clean about that. So um, I looked at those pictures, and I'm like, God, I really didn't need as much makeup on as I had. And so a lot of things have changed. Uh, mentally, I have changed. I don't, I don't, um, I don't see my looks as who I am. I'm much more than that. I don't identify with just you know the surface. <clears throat> excuse me and I'm coming to recognize the deeper me and, and I'm happy about that so I'm not going to take up too much of your time but I just wanted to just put that out there and you know kind of get some feedback from you guys and and see if maybe there were some things that you guys were holding on to as crutches to protect your esteem or to create some sort of esteem or because of some self, sort of self-consciousness and you know if you want to you can do a video response on it or you can just comment below but I just want to know what you guys thoughts are and again happy Thanksgiving I love all of you guys and I wish you all the best enjoy okay bye